Hi everyone, in this class we will be discussing about the procure to pay cycle. What is this procure to pay cycle? Actually, uh, this is the important cycle for SAP MM consultants. Basically, whatever the SD consultants will come, they will going to go through the O2C cycle that is order to cash. And um, if uh, you are going through the finance, they will going to uh, go through the RTR cycle. So, uh, means every uh, uh, what is that uh, module will be having their own set of cycle okay but uh, what we'll be using is uh, it is about the ptp that is nothing but the procure to pay cycle so what is this procure to pay it is all about okay so we'll go from okay procurement of the material to payment of for those particular materials okay we have to go through the entire process so that is what we're going to call as a P to P cycle. So uh, this is the process uh, to obtain or manage the materials required for the manufacturing. Here, purchasing requisition is passed to the purchasing department. Then the inventory management is responsible for verifying the right material with the right quantity at right time with the right price. What I am mentioning here is whatever the material we will be purchasing, right? So that has to come uh, with a part means uh, uh, that should be verified okay so however the we are going to order some material means we have to check whether we received the right material and uh, whatever the quantity we have ordered that one we need to verify and we need to get those materials at particular time okay so if we are order some material and we are uh, like uh, expecting the delivery after 30 days and they are providing the delivery after 40 days means it is of uh, like we may um, lose some profit out of there okay so the right time is required and with the right price okay so whatever the price we have maintained in the contract or the whatever the price we have maintained the PO that has to be maintained okay so that is what like a P2P cycle is all about how this P2P cycle will going to take place okay we are going to just go through the uh, simple steps over here okay what are the steps involved in the steps involved actually uh, in the industries right whenever they will going to uh, have some, means user departments will be there user departments okay these user departments they will going to identify okay initially they will going to identify the required stocks okay so whatever the like uh, some production is going on and for that production they are planned okay so in this particular date we will going to start the production like that so for that particular production means uh, uh, to make it possible we need to procure the materials okay so these are some user departments they are going to identify the required stock for that particular production <coughs> so when they are going to identify the stock okay here it is about the uh, mrp people are the uh, pp consultants okay so that is uh, really uh, what is that um, uh, coming for the production planning people okay what they are going to do they are going to raise the order that is called as the production order production order so once they are going to raise the production order based upon the production order we need to create the purchase requisition but what is this p2p cycle will going to start from we will going to consider for particularly for the mm the p2p cycle will going to start from identifying the uh, required stocks and next we'll jump directly to the purchase requisition we'll directly raise the purchase requisition to the uh, purchase department okay so purchase requisition will be raised to the purchasing department whom will be in range it will be raised to the purchasing purchasing department okay so this purchasing department will be a whole and sole responsible for procurement of the materials here how they will going to procure okay so that is we will going to study next okay but basically in the companies uh, the initially production order will be raised once the production order is raised that time 
uh, with reference to this production order, we will going to create the purchase requisition. Okay. So once we are going to create the purchase requisition, uh, we will be raising this purchase requisition to the purchasing department. So where we are raising this production order, it is within the company itself or within the plant itself. And where you are raising the purchase requisition, this is also uh, means it is within our organization. We are raising the purchasing uh, requisition to the purchasing department means purchasing department is within our organization only okay so this is called as internal document okay so this production order is also an internal document and purchase requisition is also an internal document after that once okay the uh, what is that uh, purchasing department gets certain purchase requisitions then they'll going to plan for the uh, purchasing up of the material let us consider the material is completely new to the industry they want to purchase the new material now okay at that time they don't have any vendors okay so in that case what they will going to do is um, purchasing department will going to raise the RFQ RFQ what is this RFQ meaning is request for quotation they will going to find some vendors for this particular material and they will going to uh, request the quotation from the different vendors okay let us consider uh, they are sending this request to like around uh, uh, means maybe around 10 20 vendors okay we will be going to consider vendor 1 vendor 2 vendor 3 vendor 4 vendor 5 and vendor 6 let us consider only 6 vendors here okay so once they are going to get okay what is the requirement and they are going to plan for purchasing of this material if they have the vendor they will directly send the uh, purchase order to those particular vendors and they are going to uh, receive the products on the particular day but if the material is completely new and they want to search for the new vendors means what purchasing department will do is they will going to raise the RFQ. RFQ is nothing but request for quotation. They are going to send the uh, what is that uh, uh, request for the different vendors to send their quotation for that particular material. Any material okay whatever might, uh, whatever the material might be for that particular material they uh, were asking the quotation okay just like uh, whenever you go for purchasing a pop some cars we will not just go to one particular showroom and purchase it okay we will going to collect the quotation from the different showrooms and wherever uh, the same car will be there wherever we will be getting the better price uh, we will just proceed with that particular showroom just like that here also for that particular material the purchasing department will going to request for their quotations okay we were going to provide the quotation no uh, based upon the quotation okay we will going to proceed for the selection of the vendor here in this quotation request for the quotation entering up of the okay entering the quantity is important entering the quantity is important why quantity is important over here okay let us consider you are going to a market and purchasing some onions and uh, for one kg onion you might be uh, they might be charging you like uh, 40 rupees or 45 rupees something like that okay but when you will tell no no I am purchasing like uh, 10 kgs of onions okay the suddenly the price will go into reduce over there they may provide you at 30 rupees also the same way here also when you will go in to mention the quantity no based upon the quantity let us consider you are purchasing one particular material like in a huge quantity that time the vendors may give you at very less cost and we may have the contract between the vendor and the purchasing organization that is also possible like we will going to get different contracts and uh, uh, anyway we will going to discuss it in the later stages so uh, those contracts can be really helpful for the vendor as well as for the uh, what is that purchasing organization to procure the materials okay it is a like a win to win situation for both of them so here once they are going to send the request for quotation for the different vendors okay in this uh, request for quotation they are going to mention the quantity okay how much quantity they required okay so once they are going to mention the quantity and they are going to give the deadline over here okay on this particular date you need to provide me the quotation 
and on this particular date i need the materials like that i will going to provide the uh, deadline for the vendors okay so uh, uh, whatever the uh, deadline is there on that day particularly they are going to collect all the different quotations from the different vendors okay whoever is not provided that is really okay for the companies whoever is provided okay they will just uh, maintain all these prices okay we will going to see how we will going to maintain the price okay once we will going to maintain the price based upon the uh, price okay uh, how much price the vendors are offering based upon that the system itself will going to give the ranking for the different vendors based upon that ranking we can select the particular vendor for the particular product okay so here selection of the vendor will going to take place okay we will going to select the vendor okay let us consider vendor 1 uh, means for particular material vendor 1 charged around 100 rupees vendor 2 charged maybe around 101 rupees and vendor 3 charged around 105 rupees and uh, vendor 4 is telling like 99 rupees and vendor 5 is telling like uh, 97 rupees and vendor 6 is charging around 103 rupees so out of this system will going to identify which vendor will going to provide the material at the very less cost here vendor 5 is the one who is providing at the 97 rupees per material so selection of the vendor is like the system will going to throw uh, okay this vendor is giving a better price like that vendor 5 is the uh, selected vendor over here let us consider so to this vendor what we will going to create uh, do is we will going to create the PO create the PO or raise the PO okay both are same thing only PO here in the sense purchase order okay the so, uh, what is that the purchasing department will going to raise the purchase order to the selected vendor who is the selected vendor vendor 5 here we are considering to this vendor for you the purchasing organization will going to raise the purchase order means they will going to mention okay we need the materials on this particular date and this is the price we will uh, will be considering for your material like that everything they will going to mention and they will going to send the uh, purchase order once they will going to send the purchase order the vendor starts starts to prepare the material once uh, he will going to complete uh, the production okay what he will do he will going to bring the materials to the organization uh, once he will going to bring he will going to means uh, create the gr okay this is the goods receipt okay he will going to create the goods receipt okay this is the uh, document which will going to receive from the vendor means he will going to uh, give this goods receipt because uh, he'll be uh, telling us okay these are the different materials you have or means this is the material you have ordered this much quantity and this is the date you have mentioned to deliver so here is the goods receipt okay which is mentioning the material and how much quantity i have brought okay he might have brought a less quantity more quantity okay it is depending upon his uh, work of nature okay he might have brought some quantities and it is also a contract between the uh, vendor as well as the purchasing organization okay let us consider you have ordered for 100 materials he might have bought 50 materials for that particular day that is fine okay he will going to mention in the goods receipt i have bought 50 materials okay please accept this so that within next uh, one or two days i'll going to deliver another 50 quantity like that also it is possible okay so the uh, GRN will be created by the means we will going to receive from the vendor. So apart from this purchase equation and the per, uh, what is that production order all these different things are the external documents. What is this external document in the meaning? We are dealing this with the different organizations okay these two things are within the organization but apart from the, those two things others are external documents okay after creation of the gr we need to pay to the vendor okay once we're going to receive the products that time some accounts will going to hit over here in the goods receipt after that we're going to create a ir ir is nothing but the invoice receipt okay we're going to create the ir so once ir is going to create now further 
means we are uh, telling the finance people how much amount they should pay to the vendor okay in the invoice receipt we will be telling the finance people that how much money they need to pay to the vendor okay we will going to see the different accounting entries which will going to hit after the uh, goods receipt and the invoice receipt okay in the further classes but once they are going to tell the uh, finance people okay uh, then finance people will going to take care of the uh, payment uh, things okay so from the procurement to the payment okay whatever we are doing okay so all these things that is what we will going to call as a procure to pay cycle basically you need to remember um, okay some points to remember okay what are the different points to remember here one thing is first a uh, purchase requisition okay first identification of the product will going to take place identification of the requirement second thing will be uh, we will going to raise the purchase requisition okay purchase requisition will be raised to the purchase requisition will be raised to the purchase department then this purchase department if they are having the vendor they will directly send the uh, what is that uh, purchase order to them or else they will if the material is really new they will going to raise the RFQ ok first they will going to uh, create the RFQ means this is they are requesting for the quotation from different vendors then the vendor selection will going to take place vendor selection will take place after that we will going to do the purchase order we will going to raise the purchase order to the uh, selected vendor then we will going to uh, give the GR for us okay that is goods receipt to us once we will going to get the re goods receipt uh, we will going to verify okay whether the goods are come uh, uh, in proper condition or not or whatever the quantity they have mentioned it is correct or not everything will going to see it then we will going to do the invoice receipt okay once invoice receipt is done after the invoice receipt the uh, what is that uh, uh, vendor uh, sorry uh, finance people will going to take care of the next things okay the transferring up of the money and all will be taken care by the finance people okay so this is what it is all about the procure to pay cycle okay so uh, thanks for watching the video and please do like share subscribe my channel thank you